All right, welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken, and this is the legendary Iron Man Army of Two run, where we're trying to beat the entire game with only two soldiers per squad. I spared you the um, intro and loading screen so we can get right to uh, the actual mission. I think it's not a surprise that the Avenger Rescue or Avenger Defense mission um, with uh, just so little uh, soldiers will be an almost impossible task. Here's the deal I learned. Number one, I need to field two squads, uh, squads and number two, I can't field an empty squad. So that is why you are seeing two squads of two um, as opposed to two squads of five. And I found that was uh, somewhat uh, okay in terms of uh, the um, army of two run because uh, normally you do have twice the amount of um, soldiers here. So I figured, uh, why not? We can do that as well. We brought Magister and Roby, Zirkim and Renvin, so our sol uh, strongest uh, soldiers, some of which, as you can see here and here, are still injured. We have a very limited timer, so no matter what we do, we need to be quick with it. And my strategy will be to somewhat fight through here and then directly get to uh, the target. We do have a scout, in this case, uh, Renvan. It's probably not going to scout all too long, but maybe we can find something. Let's keep in mind that his uh, ability to scout, oh, nice, 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 that his ability to scout might not be as good as uh, the one of Dragonova, but it's still good enough. So, four chrysalids kind of standing there. We need to heal ourselves. And I'd also like to heal Magister. We don't want to trigger any of the chrysalids, so I'm moving out of line of sight. Positioning the soldiers really behind the wall. And let's see if we're going to be fine. Ah, that is the chosen one. Whew, we're being ambushed by the assassin. She can summon stun lancers, is watchful, uh, which means she enters overwatch. She does not trigger overwatch herself. And boy, oh boy. The only thing that really helps us is bewildered. I hope we can encounter her alone. She's um, together with a huge uh, squad of enemies. We might be in a pretty troublesome situation. All right, so got the chrysalids over here. And this here should hit all of them. It indeed hits all of them. And they are running around the corner. All right. Time for Magister to take measures in his own hand. Your steadfast focus is admirable. All right, let's wait, wait a second. Wait a second. I don't want to do something stupid. Let's see, normally there are uh, enemies right around uh, this area here. Okay. This thing looks ready to smash something. Is that an environment suit? Maybe something that can't handle our atmosphere? Okay. Could be toxic. I advise caution, Commander. So we can position ourselves here. Okay, perfect. Can even position ourselves here. 
6 to 7 points of damage, which means 7 to 8 if we are killing one of them. Let's soften this guy here, uh, this guy up. And this here will be the kill. We get one focus, which means 7 to 8 points of damage. This guy here dies uh, through Bladestorm, this guy dies uh, through Bladestorm, and we do have a parry in case the last one does not die through Bladestorm. Let's move up. Just want to make sure we're okay. Chosen usually takes three rounds in order to find uh, to be with us. That's round number one. Blade storm kicks in. One down. Killed everyone with the exception of one. And we just triggered. We just triggered the entire pack. That's really bad. By the way, why is A, why is everything stopping? And B, even more important, why the actual F is this chrysalid running alongside the alongside uh, the rooftop? Like that doesn't even make sense. Okay, I learned something new. Apparently, if you attack chrysalids in melee, they will start running away. <laughs> okay, so if we move over here, We might be able to just shoot and uh, shoot and shoot with uh, chain shot and get the mech down. That would give us untouchable, which we would need. I was to use saturation fire, okay. Just hypothetically. We could hit both. And we could give a teamwork to Renvin. Uh teamwork to Renvin, yeah. Hmm. That's actually not a bad idea for Zircon. We also have death from above on him so there is another chain shot possibility hmm hmm let me think that through Move to here, he could kill this guy, or even better, we could start uh, softening up uh, the Andromedon. I think that's a good idea.
Roby has threat assessment, so that would trigger a, a further shot. Overwood shot, that is. We could use our next plasma grenade. Not sure if we would want to do that though. And I also don't want to go too far in. Not yet. Also, we might want to use our chain shots for the chosen one. And now rely on saturation fire. This is actually more difficult than it looks, guys. So I'm, I apologize for taking some time. I need to do a proper job with cooldown management here. I like the idea of saturation fire to actually get both of them. Not sure how I feel about using the plasma grenade right now. I think we should save that for another occasion. Um, I guess the idea with teamwork, we can wait uh, until the Chosen is here. And we currently don't need a gas grenade where we wouldn't reach anyone meaningful. I'm considering if this here is actually a decent idea. So yeah, why not? I mean, we're in a solid position back here. We might as well also move, but then we we risk no longer hitting both of them. Only reason why it, the only thing that I don't like here is the chrysalid could come around and just bite us in the back. That would be really unfortunate. It takes another healing charge, which is unnecessary. Let's start with something else. Shot onto this guy here would shred him and deal 11 points of damage in minimum. He has 22. Uh, that's 11, and he's down to yeah, two, two shots um, will definitely kill him. But that wouldn't leverage our death from above. Maybe we really want death from above, so we're starting with the saturation fire. I made up my mind. Long story short, it's time for saturation fire, and since it's such a nice angle, we're not going to move. Hey, Saiken, that was a really good idea. Not. So moving a bit closer. I'm going to give uh, him the threat assessment for the overwatch shot. Let's kill the mech first. Nice little shot. That will not trigger death from above because it's the second shot, but it will trigger him um, placeable. And he is untouchable, so um, before we give him uh, the protocol, Going to tank this guy. Nice little damage increase. It's going to be a parry. Untouchable. A protocol for threat uh, threat assessment. One more turn and then the chosen one is going to show up. Nice little critical strike. End of turn. The advent power cells are at maximum charge, Commander. Their cannon is primed and ready to fire. 
Very solid damage. That's the parry. Threat assessment should have been used a bit earlier. Lucky us. We could have reflected though. Now we're immune against fire, so that doesn't mean jack shit for us. Chosen's turn. Chosen moves in. Fortunately, we can't really reflect that. Luckily for us, we don't need to. Couple of things here. Number one. Let's get death from above. Untouchable and implacable. We all saw that thing go down. Now what the hell is it doing? As one dies, another is already born to take its place. Perfect, perfect timing for the next grenade. Chosen one definitely needs to die. Like, right now. Perfect timing for teamwork. Wait a second, no, 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 no. The movement, we have a movement from Implaceable, but we only have one action. Can't teamwork that. We can't teamwork that. I'm trusting you here. Nice little shotgun to the face. Come on. 11 points of damage here, trigger. We can uh, use teamwork in order to give Renman another shot, I suppose. Forty percent chance to hit him. I think that's a little bit low. Just double checking if we were to attack someone, can we reach the chosen from here? Yes, we can. Okay, good. That means I don't need another teamwork. Roby is moving in. I'm trusting you here. Takes a shot at the chosen. Bewildering wounds. But she unfortunately dodges. Okay. We're giving teamwork over. Ranvin takes another 100% shot. She's down to 2 HP. Well, you've got to do what you've got to do. I could teamwork over, but did we have a 100% shot on her?
I think it's still the more clever idea to teamwork. Because we need to block all of this here. Very nice. All right, she's gone. At one time, it would have been unthinkable that I might ever fall in battle. Now, it appears you have bested me once again. Great job, Commander. But there's no trace of that Chosen left. I've got a feeling we haven't seen the last of them. Still, at least we ruined their plans today. All right, the trooper is going to die next turn, and we're parrying whatever is going to attack us. So far, so good, guys. First shot that hit us. Luckily, we got Blade Storm. Wonderful. Good job, man. Chrysalid is down. <laughs> We're immune against fire? Oh no, but it's taking away the parry. Not sure if uh, we parried that. Uh, I don't want to be hit in the melee uh, fr uh, from, uh, from the Andromedon. That would sink. Well, that's a lot of damage. Luckily the parry was still up. That's going to be a kill. Almost. So close. What's over there? Roby is moving up. We are taking the death from above route. So we reloads. I don't want to use run gun yet. 37% is not good enough. We're in, instead dealing damage to the car. Parrying, and that's another blade storm hit. So far, so good. We got the Chosen, we got a pack of Chrysalids, we got a pretty nasty big pack overall. And we need to move further. The question is, do we want to deal with this guy now? Might as well. This might trigger another pack. Apparently it doesn't. Which is good, we can just move in. The fire will not harm us. 
if he would explode, we uh, we would be immune. It's killing time. That one turret down, but we still need to deal with the rest. Watch your flanks out there. Yeah, we're slowly moving in. We need the time for reload. But as you can see, I'm always constantly moving because I know that we can't afford wasting actions. Nice little gremlin heal here. Almost out of healing now. We started with uh, pretty low amounts of hit points. And let's parry. Rock and roll. So this here should get rid of both of uh, the uh, cars, which means we are effectively looking uh, for two more cars and the big gun, and we're starting with the big gun. Not going to move, because any move uh, will most likely provoke a new pair of enemies, such as Chrysalids. Such as more Chrysalids. <laughs> of course. Now, our saturation fire is not ready. Well, F you. Uh, the crystals could theoretically reach us. I guess be okay. Let's fight against one pack at a time. We soften this guy up. Moving in all the way over to the other side of the map. Do something about that armor. Okay, I'll go. Nice little kill. Death from above. Perfect. Sounds to me as if someone would be cleaning up. Position. 
nice. Come on, come on. Good enough. No problem. And the reason why this is no problem is because we were clever enough to wait with um, our Magister to just go a bit closer and say, Blade Storm for the win. Alright, let's see what the other chrysalids have to say. Saturation fire, of course, takes three ammunition, and we're not far, uh, we're not close enough, but we can take a normal shot, considering the circumstances, that might soften the guy up, it doesn't. By the way, now is a good moment in time for a run and gun. Positioning ourselves here means that we will have a blade storm, just in case if, if uh, this chrysalid here comes closer. Two chrysalids, one parry. Let's see how this one is going to turn out. Uh, we are going to overwatch. Because it might be that uh, whilst they are moving, we're going to take a shot. Yep, and the... Oh no, that was parried. I'm confused. It said parried, but he also died with the blade storm. This chrysalid runs back to the others. We're definitely going for the gun next. Alright, full double moves, because I am convinced that uh, we're, we can take the gun now. Chrysalid is going to bur uh, bury, that is okay. The gun needs to die next, that's an actual problem. If you say so. Let's see if we can trigger a pack. We can't. Apparently there is no peg left. Oh, there was one. I saw it right there. Location confirmed. Moving up as really as far as we can. I think we can already start 
hitting the generator. A little bit of an overwatch. The advent power cells are at maximum charge, Commander. Their cannon is primed and ready to fire. Maybe a flesh wound. Damn you, Chrysalid. All right. Just making sure we're dealing the maximum amount of damage and let's take care of this chrysalid here. Annoying little bugger. Let's actually take chain shots. I want to make sure that we deal as much damage as possible. Another chrysalid dies, and we're almost almost done with the cannon. I think it will not get another shot. Ready to rock. Ready to rock. Reloaded. Nice. Good work out there. The generator is down and the cannon is disabled. Now we just need to mop up the remaining enemy forces. Perfect. That was the crops of the mission. I think we're we're golden. By the way, I just realized we're not getting reinforcements. Never knew that, because uh, honestly, I played that mission a couple of times, but I never lost someone during the mission. Because it's usually an easy mission if you have 10, um, if you have 10 soldiers. I was always under the impression you would still get uh, reinforcements, but apparently I was wrong. By the way, we killed a full pack of enemies uh, right there. I think we're um, having one more pack and then we should be good uh, good to go. It's just the... Oh, maybe not. Maybe we do have more than one pack. Let's remove his overwatch. Nice little hit. Massive damage. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, easy. We still have the one pack to go. The one that's sitting right over here. We're green to go. Come get some. Good to go. Come get some. Timer is ticking down very, very slowly, so we have dozens and dozens and dozens of rounds. Interesting. Maybe there is more than one pack. Well, hello there, guys. Nice to meet you. Moving on target location. So we're either looking at the big fat saturation fire, or I would uh, much rather like to see that we're looking at a gas grenade. I think we're going for the gas grenade. I actually like it because. Um, our Templar is immune against poison, the enemies are not. Poison is a really nasty effect. And it starts setting up. If, if you say so. Roby flanks uh, the enemy. I think this here shouldn't pull another pack. Okay. We're good. Ah. Yeah, I didn't get it. Well, that's what it is. We're not going to run in there. But I think this here is a perfect opportunity. The reason why I take the priest is he might have sustenance. Yep, he has sustenance, which means on his turn he will um, reappear. And with the, his reappearance, we will be able to kill him. Uh, we, we will um, pretty much use um, Bladestorm to kill uh, the other trooper. Which leaves only two troopers alive, and we do have one parry, so we should be fine. That's two down. And he's going to shoot into parry. He's even shooting into reflect. Ooh, nice. Alright, we're ignoring Overwatch fire. Okay, he's poisoned, he's going to die anyways, but still. Good copy. Moving on target. Before we fully go in, let's see if this here is pulling another pack. It's probably not. Just want to make sure it's not. It is actually not. So we can kill this guy here. We do have a stop, so he's going to die regardless. Target neutralized. I guess that'll be okay. Overwatch, parry. And I think there's one more pack left. Interesting pack. Uh, 
With saturation fire, we would hit two of them, but also our own operative, or we would hit one of them. That's a better choice. Nice little cone, I like it. So reloading, and the saturation fire cone hits the car, hits all of the others, or in our case, hits no one. One of the options is to charge in here and just kill the mech. And I think that's what we're going to do. To fire position. Stepping off. I got it right. Untouchable and emplaceable, which is good. So as for Magister, let's charge in. It's going to parry. Got an untouchable here. Hmm. Are we giving him the aid protocol? Probably unnecessary. Uh, the mind spin were immune, fire were immune, we're actually just taking the shot and that can crit for 11 at best. So might as well give the aid protocol over because it has threat assessment. Threat assessment means um, uh, uh, Renman here can make an extra shot and that's not too bad. Well, ah, uh, that's actually bad. We're still having untouchable, so he might just shoot into untouchable. That's good, that's good. We are not immune against fire on him. But we luckily have uh, the beautiful A protocol. Alright, let's move a little bit closer. The mech definitely needs to die next. We're using a single shot because I want to soften it up. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, we got it down. Think we might position ourselves over here. Three armor is a little bit too much because we don't have uh, shredder on on Robe yet. No, 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 no. That's Overwatch. Mind control. Shit, he has the wrong target. What's 
Yeah, we're immune against fire. Need to deal with the priest. Come on, hit the priest. Okay, so that's as close as we could get. Okay, I'll go. You know what? I do have an idea. We do have this beautiful flashbang grenade, right? And if I remember correctly, the flashbang grenade. Oh, stops mind control. Who would have thought? And you know what? Let's just shortly talk about what you what you recently did. Taking someone for mind control. Mm -mm. That's not a cool action. Nice little lightning hands. And hey, how about rent? Beautiful. Hey, and you know what? Let's just move here. Because we're immune against fire. And movement triggers blade storm attacks. Nice little shot. Good job, man. So good. I think we have done it, boys. I think we have done it. Took a couple of rounds. But at, at the end of the day, I think this is it. So, to answer the question, no, it's not the end of the run. Because Commander Saigon has pulled it off. Did it with four instead of ten or twelve. And we even did it flawless. Keep that in mind. We haven't taken a single point of damage. We managed to keep this here is old wounds. For now, Commander, but I'm sure they'll be back. And we got a promotion. Oh my gosh, beautiful. The sooner we take them out, the better. Exchange is good. I like Arc Wave. Arc Wave is. Uh, it's just dealing a lot of uh, a lot of beautiful damage because with arc wave you by you you effectively AOE hit and that's not, not bad. I also like this, uh, sustain. Amplify can be good as well, specifically on tougher enemies. 
like the Chosen's. And quick draw. Pretty much um, increases uh, the uh, quick draw. Pretty much increases uh, the the uh, damage output because if we're standing in the middle of uh, the enemies and I can just quick draw first, plus lightning hands and then attack, that's a lot of damage. So I think we're going for quick draw plus arc wave, uh, which is a lot of points. But so far, uh, Magister Anderson has delivered. I like sustain as well. So You know what? Fuck it. We're going for sustain as well. Because we can. I like it. That's uh that means uh, we will survive one deadly attack per mission. So good, so good. Maybe we're going for Reaper as the last option. Lots of chrysalid corpses as well as other corpses. And we got... Uh, we got a bond upgrade available, but yeah, probably that will happen when all of our soldiers are back from being wounded. I might be wrong, but some of the times look a little bit lower than uh, what I had in mind. Yeah, but I might be wrong. Anyways, they come back soon. Nice, I like that, but we need to get uh, the resistance contacts first. Yeah. Avatar project looks good. We got uh, another Avatar, pro uh, Avatar project reduction going. Our inspiration We're soon to going to get Western Europe. And we can now create the shadow chamber. Hmm. To add another upgrade slot to sniper rifles. Well, that's not bad. Eh, why not? It's actually too good to pass it uh, by. And as long as we don't have the chosen weapon, as well as if we ever lose it, it's actually a good research. And currently we don't even have the money to upgrade our weapons, so might as well continue researching um, other weapon upgrades. Oh, finally! Commander, the infirmary can be used to improve the recovery process of our wounded soldiers. There we go. Healing rate plus 100%. Also speed up the process through therapy if needed. Yeah, we don't need the hypervital module yet, but I think during this run we might we might even consider using it. Everyone else is busy. Ten more days. We we need a new generator, by the way. Yeah, with the infirmary, that's good. Let's take a look, guys. Let's take a look. I was eagerly awaiting it. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Finally, we fixed, uh, we fixed uh, the healing times. And there is the Hunter's Axe. You know what? Once we are at it, let's shortly sell some corpses and get another, uh, get the uh, pistol. Get the pistol going. One, two, three, the purifiers, uh, perfect. Couple of trooper corpses.
Steel Barrel Corpse. Chrysalid Corpse. Uh, we need those for Hesmas Wests. Um, ah, but we can sell one stock. I think this should be enough. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was 40. Yeah, I was right. No, yeah, it's even 35. Good. So frost bomb isn't bad either, but I think we are starting with the shadow keeper. We'll get started right away, Commander. I'll send word when the project is complete. Avenger plotting new course. All right, let's go. Oh no. Gather survivors from an abandoned city with a lot of losses. A scientist, a grenadier, a ranger, and a lot of intel. Nice, look at that. Two captains. A grenadier and a ranger captain. Well, who could say no to that? I think the lost missions are particularly easy, so I might as well uh, do that next. But we're going to do that in the next video. If you are as happy as I am that this run is still going, then it's definitely time to hit the like button right now and to leave a little comment down below because uh, we are still going strong, guys. Uh, we are still going strong. So. Keep the love up and we see each other in the next video. Bye-bye.